morning everybody it's Colleen here thanks for stopping by my channel I wanted to show you um, a few exciting finds that I found at um, an antique store just down the street from me uh, it's a great store I love it there and these little treasures um, for all you paper crafters you'll know why I'm so excited about this it's uh, this is pure pure leather like leather hide or something and it says valuable papers and inside are these very very old um although they're because they're so old they're fragile but yet they're they are a little bit on the thicker side um so they make they're going to make awesome envelopes in um, something or I might hoard it and keep it who knows but valuable papers liberties bonds thrift stamps life insurance policy I just thought they're all envelopes like just just lovely hey fire insurance policies and they're so they're patina you can see the patina colored already last will and testament and it's bound by like a whatever a rope of some sort but just just beautiful and it's got something engraved some photo no not a photo but some patterny thing engraved and then there's this 20th century bookkeeping and accounting book from uh i think it's what, what was the date of this now it's really old too but you can see look at the um just all these beautiful like ledger ledger look at that henson shoe company um, just so many wonderful pages, very, very smooth to um, pages that uh, they'll make really nice pages in journals of some sort. So that was that. Like I said, I wanted, I wanted to, oh, 1940. So that's vintage. And then this, I think this is something to hoard for a while too. Portraits and autographs from 1890. Here's the date right there. You can see that. And it's um, just a book of uh, an album for the people. And this is here a, a very, it's an authentic, thick, thick photograph of, uh, I'm not even sure really of what because I just was very attracted to the pages, to the photographs, to the writing. Like this is Queen Victoria. Just look at that, just so beautiful. Some pages are ripped and that's okay. That's how it came. But I'm gonna enjoy this, 1889. Look at this penmanship. Just beautiful. Just, uh, yeah, so I'm always really excited when I happen upon these rare treasures. So that's just a quick little glimpse of some fun there. And mostly today I want to show you the Western Journal that I finished a little while ago. It's been sitting on my shelf because it's for a friend who's turning 60 and he's all about Westerns. His favorite show is Gunsmoke, etc. And he happens to be coming over this evening. So I figured I better do a video of this. I waited because I didn't want um, I didn't want him to to see this yet. So so yeah, I'm going to take you for a little tour through this. It's chipboard. It's nice and solid. It's full of um, all things Western and things that he likes. He's also a tool guy. He's uh, he's a handyman. So I put some tools for dangles. A couple of um, like here's a horse, so all things related to westerns, etc. And um, so, yeah, here we go. Like I said, gun smoke. He's he still watches it till this day. He watches all the reruns, and so I think he'll get a kick out of this. Just some images. This is I thought pretty funny. John Wayne saying Chuck Norris never heard of her. <laughs> So I won't go into all the details because it would take me too long. And, you know, some of it's private for him only. So, but this just gives you an idea of what, what it's going to look like. 
This is from an old book, a Roy Rogers Child's book, Whitman Publishing Company. So there'll be some of those types of things throughout, some of my own uh, coffee dyed papers. I've done some sewing around some of the edges, added all kinds of fun, very interactive. This was out of one of the children's books, a note from a little boy. I thought it was kind of cute to put in there and I added a tag. This, uh, you'll notice this um, material throughout, not material, it's paper, but it was from an old, um, an old photo album I found at a thrift store that I kind of, I used in, in different ways throughout this journal. But this is a, this is, a, I, I, hmm, I didn't write down which kit. I obviously incorporated, this says a friend is someone who makes it easy, so, and he's been, he's a good friend, so. But, um, yeah, I didn't write down who the uh, kits are by. Sorry about that. I'll link it below. That's what I'll do. I'll link it below. So this is from a very old magazine, like a, like a, a Western magazine that he'll probably enjoy reading thoroughly. Did some stamping on some muslin and some sewing for some tabs. I just added some paper and a this is this is like a a Tim Holtz embellishment a little pocket a west a cowboy on a horse and a tag wrangler tag coffee dyed I added a couple of these file folder inserts just for some extra interest and here's a hacksaw and some coffee dyed I doubt he'll journal but he'll enjoy all the all the elements um, and whatnot. And maybe he will journal in it, who knows. Cute little tag there. This was so much fun to make. This is of course the, I guess the lead of that show, Gunsmoke. So I cut, I cut him out an image of him and I just used him as a, a pocket tuck. Um, a little piece of a magazine I tore out and added some whale, a whale tail to it and just a little, little cowboy journaling card. And here is a, a cowboy on a horse, bucking horse. I thought I would just add some uh, layer behind a piece of brown paper and a horse dangle. And here is one of those old pages from that Western um, 1959, just a magazine I found at the antique store as well. Some journaling cards, paper bag, sewed around a piece of, just a piece of plastic, sewed it around this just to add some interest and some tactile feel to it. A really old piece of that magazine, some coffee dyed. All these little pages from the child's book is a western book. So these uh, page printable pages are really nice too, all full of all kinds of western, a western vibe. Made this little envelope and I stuck in there some just some female cowboys as well, cowgirls, I guess. And some fun little journaling cards and such. See, here's a piece of that photo album I just tore out. John Wayne, and a little tag. I won't open this, but it's just, you've all, you've all seen these um, envelopes and I've got some cowboy cards in there. <clears throat> Rodeo image. I accidentally sewed this into the bag so it won't come out, but it's just there for another piece of interest in a, a hammer. Some collaging. And inside is a journaling card. Of course, with his favorite show. And, uh, <clears throat> I used this, I obviously used my whale tail punch 
And then I looked at this and I decided to use it for a belly band because I think they make kind of, they give it a cute look as well. A cowboy image and this is Calamity Jane, a photograph of her that I sewed her. This is um, a photo album photo sleeve that I took out and I just sewed around her card there just for some added interest and feel. All things Western. Pretty sure he'll like it. And this is a, an axe. I just um, <clears throat> adhered this little photograph to the edge of the page some some uh, other cowboy western images and this is just some black velourish fabric that I had I made these into a pocket so just for separating them coffee dyed paper a little bit of a I thought this looked sort of like a, a leathery um, number element to add into the tag. Another envelope. I've got some some more cowboy elements in there, tags, journaling cards, etc. This is just some cardboard, variegated cardboard I sewed at the top of the page. Made a whale tail um, punch from one of the element or one of the printables and I happen to try to get the, the cowboy boot but there's the buckle and part of the boot just for fun big five thousand dollar reward and this is just a layered journaling card with some fun elements in it, on it some sewing. Yeah, this is Bonanza. He also likes Bonanza and he's turning 60, so I glued two number number elements together just to rub it in. A piece of that torn up photo album paper. Collaged, rodeo. Oh, this is a paper bag actually. And I put in here a journaling card. And I circled the word hoof, a disease in cattle in which an abdomen... Okay, we don't need to read that one, but it just had something to do with horses, so a little morbid. But I feel, I feel like this, I sort of captured, I feel I did, I don't know, but like horse hide and all kinds of, um, just the vibe of all things Western. So, of course, nothing in here is actually leather. But I tried my best. Another envelope full of some fun journaling cards. And this is the third. So how many signatures? Let's have a look. I forget how many. One, two. Okay, so there are four signatures, and this is the third one. This is a CD case thing that I just made into a journaling card. And you open it up, and there's a journaling card inside. I added some scripture because uh, he does love the Lord. He's a Christian man. So some a couple of scripture cards in there. Tim Holtz Element, cowboy hat. Cowboy clown with a hymn. Piece of music sheet glued on the back. And he's a fisherman. So coho cowboy, fisherman, or a cowboy on a fish. He'll get a kick out of that. I hope he doesn't tag me in this photo on Facebook. Now, isn't that relevant today? Him sheets, more Western.
pages, stamp the word sweet on some muslin. I think that turns out really well, actually. A friend of someone who makes it easy, I guess I stamped that as well. Some of the variegated cardboard for a page tab and um, some players. So this is a map, Trails West map. Tucked it in this little belly band. This is just coffee dyed paper and, and this little element here. And I used a black marker, colored on some faux um, brads. It's fun to cheat every now and then. This is just a, I, I adhered this to the page. So inside is all about the year he was born. He'll enjoy reading that, I'm sure. And a little stagecoach train. Get in there. Why is it not going in there? There we go. Cute image there. Belly band and another page is from the child's book. Cowboy clothes, cowboys and cowgirls. Oh, and this is cute, I thought. Because he likes Bonanza, this is, of course, the, the hoss, one of the main characters. A little tag. Probably Wild Bill. Another map, Montana. He used to live in Montana as well, so. And a female sheriff back in the day. Another envelope. I forget, I always forget what you call these envelopes. Oh, well, there's another envelope I made tucked in some couple of photos. had a few people ask me if I had finished this journal so I thought I better do a video of it because he gets it tonight I'll be giving it to him tonight and so I wanted to show you now this is a postcard from that antique store lo and behold who'd have thunk I would find a bonanza postcard which of course is most fitting for this journal so I was excited about that Rodeo, some some texture layering there. These are all wanted men. And another file folder insert with some coffee dyed. Of course he's 60, can't help but rub it in. Wild West, Buffalo Bill. And a dangle, so an air gun, I guess. And I we're getting there almost to the end here. I won't take this, but this is, uh... oh yeah, that's Vancouver here. Cute, love it. Oh, we live out here, so he'll appreciate that too. I didn't even notice that. Anyways, um, another, oh. Uh, piece of that magazine, that old magazine, envelope with some more ephemera in it, photograph, and dual, did some layering there, and a horseshoe. And this was a uh, this was something I made. This was just from junk mail in my uh, in my mailbox one day, and I opened it up and I decided to just 
add some western themed paper and whatnot into it. Added some tags, Annie Oakley, one of my triple bag, paper bag tag slots. And this one here has Wild Bill Hickok, a little journaling card. And then there's a couple cards here as well, tucked in there. Some collaging, Cantina, Wild Bill Hickok, I believe. Wild Bill made it into a belly band there. But so yeah, I didn't want to waste this beautiful piece of junk mail, so I made it into a westerny themed trifold and then wanted dead or alive and a picture of him, which I'll cover. Um, but I couldn't resist, so he's going to get a kick out of that. So that is that. This is a completed Western journal. I'm very happy with it. And I'm pretty sure he'll appreciate it too. And that's what makes it worth it. So thanks for coming by, guys. I am, I've been away and un, unavailable. I haven't been on my channel for a little while. But I'm happy to be back and I'm glad you stopped by. Thank you again for your continued support. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon. Take care.